What's going on guys? Tom the Oakle back and welcome to Orchid Craft Season 2, Episode 13. So, I do have a plan for this episode, and it is a good one. Because I plan on finally, finally, finally building myself an enchanting setup. And I'm gonna do it right now. Here we go, first enchanting table of the season. Boom, enchanting table. But now for the bookshelves, I have a special plan. Hold up, do I even have any bookshelves? I swear, I had a bookshelf. So there we go. Now we can make our way back to the surface because we need to consult some of our villager friends, which these guys are right over here. And specifically, we are looking for these guys. I think this guy has it. Yeah, here we go. We're just going to literally just buy bookshelves. I know it's expensive, but it's the easiest thing that I can do to get an enchanting setup. I don't know how many we need. That's the thing. I don't. So yes, we are good. 15 is how many we need. And I have 16. So we are in the perfect threshold for bookshelves. But what I was thinking we do for this is we build a building that kind of resembles that. We have a lot of open space right over here. So I was thinking, what if we built it like right here? Like had the path come over here i don't know we could make the path come this way or we could curve the path around from here like just curve it right here because this is the most open space i have right here and i think that we could repeat a building kind of like that for our enchanting setup without further ado cue the montage
welcome back everybody it has been completed this little building as you can tell is resembling that one it is basically a miniature version of it like exactly a miniature version it, that's what it's meant to be it's meant to just be a miniature version of that other building i just realized this is in the wrong spot and it is now done it's now done but yes we have all the imperfections in the side. We have, you know, the doors, the same basic front as the other one. And basically the same sort of a thing over here. And the back doesn't really matter because, you know, it's blocked off. But that is that. This is the enchanting room. It's pretty awesome in my opinion, but it it is kind of weird because, like, I built this building at a weird dimension and I didn't want to completely restructure it so I just stuck it in the corner like this and stuck a grindstone here an anvil here and a crafting table up there with my lapis and enchanted books in there it's just a small simple little building but it does the job but now that that is done we can now move on this building is done, but I don't actually need this at the moment because, you know, I already have fully enchanted stuff, but I figured we needed an enchanting room just in case. But next on the list is axolotls. I want to build a little tank for them. That is why I have my glass and some wood with me because I want to build a little tank somewhere. I mean, we could peel the path off right here and have a small little tank right there. I think that that could look good if we, you know, just took it off this way. Or we could go this way and we could put it right here. Because I feel like if it's there, it might be a little bit crammed. So I don't think it really does belong there. But I really don't have any other places for it. Yeah, I think we're going to do it down there. Welcome back, everybody. I have officially decided to do a tank like this. I thought that the other version would have looked kind of dumb up there, so I just stuck it in the roof. And we have our two axolotls just swimming around. I might breed them um, later, but we'll see if I breed them or not. But in there, I just have torches so that it lights it up so I can actually see them. But yeah, I'm liking how this looks. Yeah, it's not the same over there. And I could, in reality, connect them both and make a big giant one. But I think this is fine for now. But thanks for watching Orchid Craft Season 2, Episode 13. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in another video.